We were out on a night patrol. I woke up, saw the smoke. I felt like we had gotten like a vehicle rollover. Finally realized like I couldn't move. Started, I kind of started grabbing myself to see how bad I was. Saw the blood on my hands. I just remember them calling for medevac and flying me to Kandahar Air Base. I was awake all the way through the flight. After that, I woke up one time in Germany. And uh, once I was flown to Walter Reed, I was in ICU for a month. And I don't remember any of that. My vehicle that I was commanding got hit with a uh, IED, um, resulting in second third degree burns, damage to my right forearm, damage to my right leg, lower back fracture. I went through a grip of surgeries. Um, at one point, I had 38 surgeries in two years. So we're sitting around 44 surgeries total. About six months after realizing that it's not gonna get any better, I decided to have it cut off, um, resulting in my, you know, the loss of my left leg. I was that guy that was all on narcotics, you know, sitting there popping Oxycontins like it was nobody's business. I'd even stay up for two, three days straight just off being on drugs. It was my daughter's third birthday. We decided we wanted to take her to Disneyland. I stayed at the Disneyland Hotel and we had not even walked the block before I had to sit down and take a break or pop pills to keep even going. Then you know, I realized like I'm sweating, I'm in pain, I'm angry. And that's when I realized like, damn, I have a three-year-old daughter that I can't even walk around in Disneyland. So I finally told my wife, I'm gonna get myself in shape. And same thing, walking down the same mile, we walked right past that bench that I sat down at. And I remember turning to my wife and I said, hey, look at that. And she's like, what? And I said, look at that bench. And she didn't realize what I was talking about. And she goes, what are you talking about? I said, that's the bench that I had to sit down on. And just looked at her and said, let's go. 